Hello YouTube, number 1984 here. Today I'm just going to do a quick little video and I'm basically going to be opening up a ration pack that I made about two years ago. This is one of the first ration packs I ever put together and obviously the ones I do now I think are a lot better and a lot more comprehensive. But time for rotation so I'll open one up just to show you some of the, sort of, some of the things that I used to put in these. Like I say, this one I put together in September 2013. Okay, let's quickly open this up. Have to bear with me as I'm trying to do this one handed. Okay, now there is a tear notch here. I don't know if you can see it. But as I'm doing this one handed, I'll use the knife. Not the easiest thing to do. There we have it. Okay. So obviously the pouch, as you've probably noticed, is mylar. Good little pouches, these. I like them. Okay. Well, let's just tip the whole thing out. I would say it's only going to be a quick video of this. We'll see what we've got in there. Okay, so the first thing is porridge oats and powdered milk. This one. I put together around Christmas time 2012. Again, Mylar pouch. Nice and simple, open it up, drop it in your mess tin or your cup, whatever you're using, add your hot water, stir it and leave it for five minutes. Job done, breakfast. As you can see, fairly generous portion, be enough for breakfast. Okay, moving on. Lunch or your snacks. So we have the fruit biscuits, three of forest fruits, these ones. Yeah, they still seem hard, nice and crisp. Not bad. Considering they went out of date September 2013. Huh. Actually, when I put them in the pack, but they're still good. Two years later, two years after the date, these are still good. I opened a pack to these the other day actually, they're fine. Second, we have a trail bar or a harvest bar, milk chocolate chip. Again, nice and simple. When you're out and about on your lunch and you're moving about, it's just something you can nibble. You don't have to cook it, but you guys who's helping it and chew it, job done. Piece of piss. Also, for a slightly more substantial lunch a bit later on, or possibly for supper, depending on how you're feeling that day, we have just some simple noodles. Now, I don't really use these in ration packs anymore because nutritionally they're, they're shit, let's be honest. But they do fill a hole, so they can help fill you up. Just don't expect to live on them, it's not going to happen. These ones, curry flavour, as you can see. One of the Morrisons, save a range, pennies. Really cheap, you can buy a shitload of these, and like I say, they fill a hole. So they do serve a purpose. Now, we move on to our comfort food. We have a large bar of chocolate. Only 50 pence. Again, value range. These ration kits were put together as cheap as I could realistically do it at the time. Obviously the ones I do now are a lot better. But yeah, nice bar of chocolate, generous size. And that will be eaten tomorrow by the missus. I've lost that. Okay, so what else do we have? Here we have the main meal. Nice and, neat, nice and simple, sorry. Pasta and sauce, this particular one. Chicken and mushroom. Pack this one. 
around about Christmas time 2012 and again I used my LAR pouches but what I did with this one same as the porridge pouch because this is like I say this is when I first started making these sort of things is actually recycled mylar pouches these particular bags are actually from instant mashed potato obviously I found a source instant mashed potato I transferred them into large mylar bags for long term storage and I had these little pouches left so after I cleaned them give them a good clean out allowed them to dry reused and recycled and as you can see with this one which was packed two years ago it's still still got its seal still held its seal and that's with pasta which if you use mylar you know can be a bugger sharp edges you can puncture and this is very thin mylar quite lucky there doing a good job happy with that okay what else do we have first attempt to brook it again the ones I do now are a hell of a lot better but you live and learn it's all a thought process so let's see what we've got ah, sugar obviously always gotta have sugar so we have two sticks of sugar great you get these from service stations bed and breakfasts that sort of thing. A lot, a lot of places now will offer you so will offer you these sachets as opposed to a cup with a spoon in it. Hygiene, I suppose. I prefer coffee, so I have three of these, three in one coffees. Sugar and milk. You don't need to add anything extra to them. Job done. Nice and simple. Also, we have a. Oxo stock cube. Again, this is still hard, firm, and this was packed over two years ago. The ones I leave in my cupboard, after three to four months, they go soft and mushy. Yep, that's just broke open. That's hard. So the mylar has done its job. What else have we got? Aha! A tea bag. This particular one is very mint so I'm assuming that's some kind of mint tea it's not something I'd drink personally but it was free again so I'll throw it in there what my sugar's for again pepper well speaks for itself and I've got with the pasta with the noodles or my own personal favorite is with the stock cube makes it much nicer stock cube hot water make a nice bob for drink Absolutely pucker. My favourite. Okay. This pouch, we have hot chocolate. Now I remember knocking these up again myself. Again, recycled my live pouches. Just put my own label on there. So this would have been hot chocolate mixed with sugar and a little bit of powdered milk. Tried to make it as close as I could to the original British Army ration packs, which were knocking about in the 90s and the early noughties which if you tried one of their hot chocolates they're absolutely delicious and I tried to make it as close as I could didn't do a bad job yeah we have soup golden wonder cup of soup nice and simple it'll either be a tomato or a bit of chicken they're the only flavours I buy really but again, depending on the flavour, for instance if it's a chicken and you're not keen on curry flavoured noodles, it can be added to the noodles or it can be added to your pasta, whichever one you want or you can have it as a drink, nice hot drink to go with your lunch. And last but not least, a simple box of matches. Nothing worse than not being able to light your fire. And if you're out and about in the bush, you're gonna have you're gonna have a lot of use for these. Always useful, always helpful. I save you a lot of time pissing around with your ferro rod. So there we have it. Unboxing of 
first ration packs I ever made which were back in September 2013 so about two years ago so like I say we have a brew kit, breakfast main meal lunch and your snacks and a couple of drinks chocolate bar everybody loves chocolate Okay, well, that's it for me anyway, Tumbo 1984 hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe, and also comments are welcome. I like to interact with people. Any questions you've got, just pop them in the bottom, and I'll get back to you. Okay, thank you.